Is that it? <sighs> Hi and welcome to this Extronical Quickie. Just about a couple of these ILI 9341 displays, TFT displays. I've used these are both ILI 9341 displays. Just one is actually slightly smaller. They're both 240 by 320 resolution. They can ha they have an extremely similar layout as you can see, virtually identical apart from size. So in a recent project, I'd use this screen with the ESP32. I've used uh, I can't remember one of these screens with the Arduino. I've had no problems with this particular one. It had been tested and used as a display reading the SD card that's built in and using the touch all at once, no problems. However, I then added to that project some th other components on that board, not much, but they drew a little bit of extra current and I was beginning to have problems. A lot of, basically the SD card not working on this. I could mount an external SD card, so I had this one. So I could have the screen displayed and an external SD card and everything worked fine. But yeah, I knew this SD card was good because I'd used it on that project. But with these other couple of components in, it didn't. However, when I was doing the project to involve this SD card, I had to do a bodge. And I'll bring a bit of a better picture on screen it's now. But I had to do a bodge where I had to just bypass the regulator because it was sold as Arduino and ESP32 friendly, 3.3 volts, 5 volt friendly. Uh, but it wasn't. It wouldn't work until I bypassed the regulator so that it was getting the 3.3 volts directly to it rather than having to go through the regulator, which makes sense. It was a, a regulator that's going to knock it down to 3.3 volts, so I could understand that. So I had to do that bodge. And that just got me thinking about these screens. Look on the back. And I've dealt with these screens before with, with this issue, but with Arduino. And the advice I've seen on the internet was, it was fairly contradictory. But looking at the actual circuit on there, it becomes extremely obvious what you need to do. There is, on both of these, a jumper, just there. So I'll tilt it a little bit towards the camera as well, so it's easy. So there's a little jumper connection there. Two solder dots, not connected. And on this one, the same jumper in more or less the same place next to this, this regulator the jumper is connected. That's because I soldered it a long time ago on another project, which I kind of forgotten about I'd done. And what that does, if you look particularly, it's a lot clearer on this board. What that does is bypasses the regulator. So the voltage that's coming in off VCC, which follow the VCC track, coming down here and along, it goes to the input pin of that regulator. That's fine. And then the output's just on that pin there, which goes off and feeds all the circuitry. Also that chip there. However, if you look, the trace of the VCC also goes up to this jumper. And you can see that if we were to actually connect these connections, then that VCC would go directly through to there, bypassing that effectively. So this will be regulating it down to 3.3 volts. So you want that jumper unconnected if you're using this with an Arduino, but crucially with an ESP32, you want it connected. And it wasn't for my project, and everything worked perfectly, until I added a little bit more onto it. So, if you're having trouble with your TFT, particularly if you're using the SD card, maybe the touchscreen as well, and whatever else you've got on there, if you're having some problems and you can't quite work it out, just check that. And if you're working with, obviously, with the SB32, just connect it together, because you'll then probably solve all your problems. Hope that's helped. I'm going back to my project now. I'm just going to use this one straight off and pop that in instead of using this big screen. I did want that. I did actually want the bigger screen, but that's fine. I could solder that blob across, but I want a screen I can use my Arduino as well whenever I want to do projects with that. And yeah, I could sort of like unsolder uns it later, but that's too much of a faff. I don't want to do that. So, hope that's helpful. If you liked it, like, usual thing, and subscribe if you like to see some more. And thank you very much for my patrons, and thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has not been too rough and ready.